Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hillary from Ridgeline Chiropractic. I've got our new associate, Dr. Taylor, on here. Hello. Hi. Um, many of you might remember her as our intern last year. She was here for, I think, literally the almost the whole year, if that's correct. And then you left in December. Please catch us up with where you are, what you're doing, and when you're coming back to Carmel. <laughs> So um, yes, I did leave you guys for a little bit because I was finishing up my master's at Life University in Marietta, Georgia. Um, recently, I've been working with all the athletes on campus. Uh, so they've been keeping me on my toes, helping me learn as much as I can. So that way I can bring that into the office when I come. I will be coming June 21st will be my first day. Oh, hello, <laughs> Facebook user. How are you? Sorry, I had to pop that up there. Go back. June 21st. We're so excited. It's like 10 days away. Mm -hmm. Just a few a few days around and I'll be up there and I'm so excited. I can't, can't even wait. <laughs> um, someone else just said June 21st can't come soon enough. Oh, we got some fans. Oh, yeah. um, tell everyone what type of sport team that you have been working with and the chiropractor for. So I've been adjusting all of the athletes on campus. So we have basketball players, soccer, uh, bowling, cheerleaders, all of those. But my primary focus was women's rugby. I've um, actually been traveling with them. I'm so lucky to have that opportunity because um, not many other chiropractors get to travel specifically with a team. And that was amazing. It taught me so much. It's it was allowing me to become more efficient with my adjusting as well and time management. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, uh, Dr. Taylor used to play rugby. Yes, you did. Did. I was on the team. Yeah, I didn't want you to forget to mention that out that you used to play. Yep, I've been on the team since we started the team, the women's team at Life That's University. Right. You were the one of the, the first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first, and so now they're going to lose you to Carmel. That's okay. They are. They're very, very, very sad to be losing me, but they're very happy that I am getting this opportunity. <laughs> so besides getting your doctorate in December, mm -hmm. um, remind me, what is your master's? What's the, the name of that one? It's a master's in sports health science. Sports. And it's basically okay. a concentration in sports chiropractic since I was working with all the sports teams. Nice. Exciting. Um, well, let's rewind a little bit and then tell us um, why chiropractic? Like, why did you start in this crazy profession where people are not normal? <laughs> Definitely not. Um, so uh, I have grew up with chiropractic my whole life um, and I knew I loved it. And I thought growing up that I, I knew I was, I always knew I was going to be a doctor, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure on what I was going to do from there. And then through rugby, I was getting adjustments on campus uh, with the chiropractors who are working with the same program that I'm in now. Um, and they allowed me um, to basically play at my best potential. Um, there were several times that I wouldn't have been able to stay in a game if it hadn't been for the chiropractor. And so from there, it opened up my eyes to chiropractic in a whole new light. And if that, if chiropractic could do that for me, how much it could do for just the everyday person as well as other athletes. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got into the chiropractic. And we're so happy that you did. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like you could have picked an easier sport or something. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> no, not at all. Rugby's <laughs> like no joke. <laughs> it, it's definitely a lot of a mental game as it is physically too. Oh my goodness. Um, so once you're here, well, first go back and tell everyone that you were originally from Indiana. Yes. So Spoiler my alert: family, she is yeah. not. I mean, she is native. To Indiana. <laughs> yes, I am a Hoosier native. Um, as you can tell from my last name is Van Hoosier. Um, mm -hmm. But the best part is my family is from Indiana and they are just outside of uh, Lafayette, which actually was what allowed me to come and meet you, got you up at your office. So that brought me there um, and gave me that opportunity. So, um, but my family, my immediate family has lived in Georgia most of my life. And when you come up, who's the little furball that you're bringing up to Carmel? 
<laughs> so I have a almost two year old lab mix. Her name is Penelope. She's the sweetest little thing. Um, well, I can't really say little. She, she's like a 70 pound lap dog, um, but she is the sweetest. <laughs> she'll just lick you to death. Her bark sounds pretty ferocious. So she scares some people, but she'll all she'll do is just lick you to death. <laughs> Um, well, what do you look forward to doing with Penelope when she move up here? Um, I'm excited to check out some of the trails uh, because mm -hmm. I didn't really have her with me while I was in Carmel. Um, she stayed up in the Lafayette area. Uh, so I'd like to take her out on some of those trails to get used to um, that new area. Mm -hmm. Do you ever Carmel take the dog parks? Um, I haven't taken her to any of the Carmel ones, no. Oh, so if anyone's listening or list, watches later, will you comment below any of the dog parks or trails that Dr. Taylor should take Penelope to? That would be great. That would be a huge help, too. I don't have dogs. I just have kids, so I can <laughs> tell you where the kids go. <laughs> um, okay, so moving out to the Carmel area, what are you excited about Carmel? Because you've been here for a while. Mm -hmm. or We're in here, but like um, you're coming back. What do you love about Carmel in, uh, I guess, Indiana in general? Um, I, I feel like I love Indiana because anywhere I go, the people are just so friendly. Um, being in Atlanta, they're not that friendly, depending on where you go. Um, and so, like, I feel like anytime you walk in somewhere up in Indiana, someone's always greeting you or saying hello. Um, whether you're just walking in to pick up your coffee from Starbucks or something, there's always some type of interaction. Um, and then I love the Carmel roundabouts. I know a lot of drivers don't like roundabouts, but I do like <laughs> the roundabouts that's so crazy to say that you love the roundabouts <laughs> that's fine but i mean at least like you'll have like over a hundred to <laughs> they, you guys, and ride. But i am excited for them every time i'm like oh a roundabout oh my gosh only people from the south would say that <laughs> yeah we don't have very many many roundabouts around here no not not in georgia um okay so um, what made you want to come back to Carmel? Well, specifically, what made you want to come back to Rangeline Chiropractic and work here? Um, that would be the patients, the patients that I interacted with, um, as well as the staff like you. Um, you guys, as soon as I got there, were very welcoming and very appreciative of all the help that I was providing. Um, and I learned so much from you guys and I expect for that knowledge just to keep growing as I'm there. Um, and the patients that I encountered, I did not have a single bad patient encounter. Everyone was so nice and friendly. Um, and I just I can't wait to get back to that. We do have the best patients here. Uh, the best staff, obviously. Um, not not me. I'm not the best. But other people here besides me are the best. Um, but yeah, the patients here are so great. Everyone's so fun. And we can just like laugh with them and have fun and have like ladies night parties on the patio. I right? cannot wait for the next ladies night. Speaking of that, it is going to be the 25th of June. So everyone that wants to come and meet Dr. Taylor, the 25th of June. I was thinking margarita tastings oh yeah and non-alcoholic margaritas for people that are not drinking so um but that'll be a great time to sit on the patio get to know dr taylor um and what's great is that you're going to be in network with all the insurance companies right yes i've been working very hard on getting a network with all of them yep Everyone's been excited, um, especially some um, patients from Anthem, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, uh, that um, we, I currently am not in network with them. So everyone's been super excited. And um, Dr. Taylor already has her books and her schedule going and people have already been signing up with her. So anyone watching, um, feel free to get on her schedule. You guys will love her. And I think a lot, most of you will remember her from last year, I think once you see her, but she was always around, very helpful last time, probably adjusted a lot of you and did tons of therapies on everyone. So we are so excited to have you here. We can't wait. All the staff has been counting down the days. I literally was telling people I was like, today, 10 days, 10 days and she will be here the 21st. So, so excited. 
Me too as well. I've been counting those days down, marking them off on the calendar. And another fun fact is you're going to be bringing some family up here eventually too. Yes, I am. So I'll be coming up in June and then I have uh, my father will be moving up to that area as well um, in August and he'll be bringing my 17 year old baby sister along. <laughs> Another fun fact is I am the second oldest of five girls and we all start with TAs for our name. So that can be a little confusing when you're getting around all of us, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and then one of my other younger sisters will be moving up to Louisville, which is pretty close. So I'll be ended up having more of my immediate family migrate up more north now too. Good, see so here that everyone, she's putting down roots. She's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Yep, I, I will put down those roads. <laughs> Yay. Well, we cannot wait to have you. Um, anything else you want to say before we hop off, Dr. Taylor? I am just so excited. I can't wait to be in the office. And I hope to meet all of you guys that are watching soon. Oh, let's also do a fun fact. What is your favorite type of food? Uh, my favorite type of food would be um, Mexican food. And any and all Mexican food is my favorite. Good answer. I knew you were going to say that actually because I know so much about you, but awesome. All right. Thank you for joining. No problem. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>